Hello everyone and thank you so much for being on this video that will show you how to create a simple opening sequence or an opening cinematic for your Unreal Engine game. In this video I will create a really really simple cinematic sequence and then create a blueprint that will play it on level start as a form of an intro or an in-game opening sequence that you probably know too well from your gaming experience. So for starts this is my level, I'm using it in my previous tutorials as well, so if you're a beginner in Unreal Engine please do check them out, there are links in the description below and they will take you to one video and you can find your way to others as well. So right now he, here we are in the same level, here is my player start, as you can see this is a first person game, so this is the player start capsule and from here on out I want to create a simple sequence or a simple camera movement, a single shot sequence actually, that simply does this, goes pretty much into the perspective of the player from the start of the game once the player is in control of the same player capsule. To do that I will first create the cinematic sequence and then I'll create a blueprint or more precisely edit the level blueprint to play it from the beginning. So for now we'll simply create a cinematic sequence by adding add level sequence here. I will call it O scene, like opening cinematic and place it in my uh, root folder. Right now you can see uh, the sequencer is already open and my auto keyframe is set. But to go further I need to create this, create a new camera and I'll animate it, more precisely its positions in the game world to get the same effect. Now I won't go into details about the sequencer, I'll just create a simple sequence lasting about a second that will do it for this really simple intro or in-game opening cinematic. So create a new camera and here is the camera, you can already see the viewport, you can see the marking of the camera in the game world and I'm going to uh, move the same cine camera actor so that it sets that player effect, player capsule effect here. So first I'm going to move the camera out. Now we're controlling the same virtual camera and I'm going to enlarge this and I'm going to go all the way down to the position of the camera in the world which is transform and I'm going to mark it with adding a new key which is the current time, this is the start of the same cinematic sequence and I'm going to move my time bar right till the end and holding my right key I'm going to punch in with my W key all the way let's say here. Once I release the dub, my left key I move the camera to this position and the sequence is basically done. As you can see once I play it with space it zooms in and stops. So this is my really basic, my really elemental sequence. I want to play the same thing once I start my level. So I'm going to save the project. I'm going to close the sequencer because I already have my cinematic sequence here, O sin. O sin. Oh what a sin. Uh, weird name but I'm sticking with it. Again I'm going to save it, close the sequencer and we're back in the game world. To add the same sequence to the level and to the player start experience I will need to edit the level blueprint and add it there including the blueprint that will play the same cinematic sequence. 
To do that, I will go to Blueprints and open Level Blueprint. Right here is where the whole Blueprint sequence will be added, which will then play the same sequence once the game begins. Right now it's empty, so the first thing I'm going to do is event that will begin on the start of the game. So I'll do that by searching for event begin play. Here it is. So this is my first node. From here on, I'm going to create a sequence. The same sequence has these two nodes, then zero and then one, which will be connected to the actual cinematic sequence I already created in the game. So then zero will be connected to the create level sequence player. Here it is. And here on I need to actually set the sequence which is O sin. And from the return value I need to promote it to variable. So this is my variable as you can see is the new variable zero which I'm going to rename to the O sin. And now I'm going to drag and drop it here and choose get O sin. From here on I need to connect it to play. It's up here, play and connect play to the sequence or the other element of the sequence than one. Here it is. And in theory, which we're going to test immediately, this should be enough to start the OSIN cinematic playing once the ev event begin play begins and the cinematic should run. After that, the players will be able to move their player capsule like they would normally do. So we're going to compile, we're going to save, and let's test it out. And here it is, here is the cinematic sequence. You see the gun, that is the only element in play because it's a first person game, there is no player mesh, it's only the gun, but now a customer is shot. I have full control and I can play and everything runs as it would without the sequence but then the sequence begins every time I test it out again no matter where in the game world I might be located during the editing once I go for play the cinematic sequence begins and it ends allowing me again to play the game or test the level or do whatever I want. So that's it, that's it in the nutshell. As you can see, the blueprint is really simple. We can check it out once again. And it includes only these nodes to actually start the cinematic sequence and end it, allowing the players to begin gameplay. So that's it for this cinematic beginner tutorial and blueprint beginner tutorial that allows you to create your in-game cinematics. As you can see, it's really simple, it's really straightforward. Ideally, for anyone who's a beginner, this is a means to add your first cinematic to your first game in Unreal Engine. My name is Ivica, thank you so much for watching. If you're a first time viewer, please subscribe to my channel or leave a like if you have any questions or doubts or dilemmas or comments, leave them in the section below and hopefully I'll see you on my next Unreal tutorial video for beginners by beginners. Until my next video, have a lot of fun in Unreal Engine and bye bye.